by. But as for all right, so we're out here today on a bottle hunt, and I got Joe with me, Joey, Frankie, Petriella with me, and we're going to be searching this nice old ravine. This house site dates back to the late 1700s, and we expect to find some 1920s on up bottles. You see my old hole down there, um, see all the bottles over there found last time this ravine is loaded so let's get right to it let's get some bottles and I'll show you as we find them all right so we got a couple nice big old holes dug here finding lots of bottles check that out oh yeah everything soda bottles what'd you find you found a Pat D coke bottle look at this that's a beauty right there Nice Pat D. Yeah, and a little, uh, not sure if that's a, it looks like a test tube of some kind. Milk of Magnesia. Look at this one. It's got a blue tint to it. It's different. Can't tell if that's like a stain for clothing or whatnot. It's a 1951, but it's a beauty for sure. Lots of soda bottles. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, it's too bad that's broken. That's a beauty. I like that top. Yeah. This whole ravine is just jam-packed. You having fun? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, just getting through the uh, 1950s, 1940s layer right now. And as you can see, getting down towards the deeper stuff. So we'll see what's coming up. Pulled out this nice amber bottle. It's a beauty. It'll look nice on the shelf. And some nice ball masons. Yeah, that's a, Yeah, that might have been dish soap or something. Maybe an oil or something. I don't know. All right. Starting to sprinkle a little bit, but we'll survive. Let's get digging. I got something red coming out here. Something unique. I've never seen anything like this, so let's take a peek. Red glass would definitely be interesting. What do we got? What is that? Nail polish? Maybe? Is that nail polish? I can't tell if that... Uh, it's actually clear. It's a clear bottle. With, yeah, it's nail polish. Okay, junk. <laughs> On to the next. Hi, right, so yeah, we just pulled up a 1923 Christmas Coke. Top was broken off, but you know, we could fix those. That's not a problem um, if we can find the top. But anyway, look at that down there. Let's check that out. Let's see what this is. It looks intact too. That is a big bottle. Check this out, Frank. Look at this thing. Man, it's huge. You just want to be careful digging it up. Scratch away. Oh, yeah, wow. All right, I can see the top. That is just an oil bottle. That's nothing, nothing too crazy. But that's just an oil. Cooking oil, vegetable oil. Yeah, those are nice big pretty bottles though. You can fill those up with colored water and stick them on your shelf and it look nice, but that's what we're after right there, aren't we? That's what we want. Nice old Christmas Cokes, yep. All right, so see you on next. Let's stop to get a little drink of water. Found a little kid's whistle. Yeah, I got this nice little bottle here. It says Esquire Scuff Coat. Some kind of cleaning product of some kind. Got a nice little three-sided bottle. Not sure if it has a date on it or not. Can't tell. We're still working the uh, the upper layer in this. Uh, these pits, this ravine, this goes down at least another four feet. And it's just completely filled with bottles. Completely. So... Yeah, pulling them out, checking them out. So we'll see you when we find something decent. What you got there? 
Pepsi. Oh, it's got yeah, ACL uh, on it. Look at that. Ooh, nice old Pepsi. Yeah. Where is it from? Will it tell it? Mm, it's patent 19... 49. 1949 Pepsi. Uh, I doubt that ACL is going to last. It's already peeling off. You see that? Still has embossing on it though. Nice Pepsi embossing. We'll keep that. That's a beauty. We'll turn that over. Keep that ACL moist. Yeah. Some kind of oil, syrup, or something like that. Alright, so see when we find something good. Oh yeah, we got a nice one showing here. It's got a nice ACL on it. Beauty. Oh, let's hope that's a nice whiskey or something. Just starting to rain. Yeah, don't rub it too much. You know, that paint will come right off. We'll get that paint. You can get it now. Just pull it right out. Oh, what's it say? Oh, that's a beautiful whiskey. Kentucky? Is that Kentucky? Oh, my God. That is awesome. 1870 Tennessee Mash. Oh man, that is beautiful. That is nice. Oh, can't really get a date on that, but good golly, that's a nice one. I think it says 1950, and it's got embossing up on the top. What's it say? Tennessee Whiskey. Nice find right there. Try to lay that down where the, the ACL is pointed down so it keeps moist. Wow. That's a keeper. Good find. You know, bottles, bottles, bottles everywhere in here. Right. Jug of something. Yeah, check out this uh, nice milk bottle he found. It's too bad it was broken. Nice embossing all on it. Beautiful milk bottle. Milk, milk for health. Oh, we're digging out that pit pretty nice, but uh, I think we hit the honey spot. And uh, you see all the bottles up there. And got a few keepers, but mostly all your common stuff. Frank's down there just checking out all bottles all through here. Bottles everywhere. Yeah, it's a lot of digging. <laughs> All right, see ya. Yeah, so calling it quits. Um, as you can see here, we got a lot of a lot of hole dug, and uh, I think we passed the honey spot, which is right here in the center. We still have uh, yet to dig to the sides, but as you can see, look at all the stuff that's coming up: bricks, bottles, boots. You know, this was their trash pit for sure, and. It was just every kind of bottle you can imagine. And we got our keepers, got a few Cokes, have some Pepsi. Um, there's a nice big Pepsi laying there, no deposit. And uh, you see he's got some Cokes in his bag. And he's still down there searching. <laughs> but bottles filled all in here, so... Yeah, that's, uh, that's how you find bottles. You just go to these old sites, you dig the ravines out. And, um, you know, the deeper you go, the better you get. So, all right. I think we're going to call it quits. So we'll see you on the next hunt. Take care. Thanks for watching.